channel. Here, now I am taking to class 8, chapter light. Before starting the chapter, first you subscribe the channel and maximum share it. Then you enable the bell icon, then you will get the notifications. Now I am going through the chapter, our chapter name is light. <coughs> this chapter already we studied from lower class that is from 7th standard we studied already light chapter some basic terms. Now here again more basic terms related with the light we will study in this chapter. The sense of sight is one of the most important senses through it we see trees, plants, chairs, people and so many other things around us. What makes things visible? Children, what makes things visible? Eyes alone cannot see any object. It is only when light from an object enters our eyes that we see the object. The light may have been emitted by the object or may have been reflected by it. From this, now we can classify objects into two types. Ob objects are divided into two, luminous object and non-luminous object. Okay, now I am showing you how this is doing. Classification of object. Luminous object and non luminous object. Objects are classified into two luminous object and non luminous object. Another name for luminous object is source of light. And we have another name for non-luminous is illuminated object. Okay, next what is luminous object? What is the definition for luminous object? Luminous object means the object which emits its own light. The object which emits its own light, they are known as luminous object or source of light. For example, sun, stars are the examples of luminous object. Or another examples are burning candle, switched on by, they are all giving their own light. So, example for luminous objects are sun, burning candle are the examples of luminous object or source of light. Next is about non-luminous object or illuminated object. The object does not emit its own light. The object which does not emit its own light are known as non-luminous object or illuminated object. Okay, here I am giving you some examples that are a typical example for this non-luminous object is moon. And on chair, table, pencil. These are some examples for non-luminous object or illuminated object. Another one point about light is light always travels in a straight line. See children, light always traveling in a straight line. It is known as rectilinear propagation of light. Rectilinear propagation of light. What does mean by rectilinear propagation of light? Once again, understand what is a rectilinear propagation of light? The light always traveling in a straight line. Light always traveling in a straight line. This property of light is known as rectilinear propagation of light. Next is a 
about reflection of light. Reflection of light. This is very important term related with this light. Reflection of light means the process of returning back of light to the same medium after striking the surface. Children, these are all you studied from 7th standard. Does it matter? Again, you listen and study. What is reflection of light? The process of returning back of light to the same medium after striking the surface is known as reflection of light. Here, <coughs> First of all, light falls on, light falls on the surface, falls on the surface, a ray of light falls on the surface, a ray of light falls on the surface, falls on the surface, after striking the surface, it returns back, once again, on the surface, on the surface means this surface is the top side of this surface is polished, smooth surface. On this surface, the light ray falls and strike after striking the surface, it returns back. Here, two rays you can see. First ray known as incident ray. Incident ray. Second one is reflected ray. Incident ray and reflected ray. Okay. Then constricting and normal that is perpendicular to the surface. Perpendicular to, to the surface at right angle one line is constricting that is normal. Normal at the point of incidence. Normal at the point of incidence. This one. Here, after constructing a normal, we can see, we can, we can, we getting two angles that are angle I and angle R. Angle I and angle R. Angle I and angle R, if these are read it as, angle I is read it as angle of incidence and angle R is known read it as angle of ref reflection, angle of reflection. So, some new terms are incident ray, reflected ray, angle of incidence, angle of reflection, normal at the point of incidence. Another one is this surface. A surface, a surface which reflects the light is known as reflector. A surface which reflects the light is known as reflector. The polished surfaces are good reflectors. Children, the polished surfaces are good reflectors. A polished or shiny surface can act as a mirror. See children? Mirror. That term also we study from seven standard types of mirrors. Two types of mirrors, plain mirror and spherical mirrors. So I am uh, only recalling that information just. Mirrors are mainly divided, classified, plain mirror and spherical mirror. Again, this spherical mirror divided, classified into two, concave mirror and convex mirror. Okay, mirrors are divided or classified into two types, 
प्लेन मिरर एंड स्पेरिकल मिरर स्पेरिकल मिरर अगेन डिवाइडेड कॉन्के मिरर एंड कॉन्वेक्स मिरर सी वॉट इज प्लेन मिरर वॉट इज मीन बाई प्लेन मिरर प्लेन मिरर डेली इन अवर हॉम वी आर यूजिंग डेली दिस प्लेन मिरर वी आर लुकिंग स्टैंडिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ दिस मिरर प्लेन मिरर प्लेन मिरर द पोलिश्ड सर्फेस और रिफ्लेक्टिंग सर्फेस इज प्लेन स्ट्रेट और प्लेन देन दिस पेरिकल मिरर इज द रिफ्लेक्टिंग सर्फेस और शाइनी सर्फेस और रिफ्लेक्टेड सर्फेस इज खर्ड and this curved reflecting surface again divided into two inward curved and outward curved this here in the concave mirror the in concave mirror the reflecting surface is inward curved and in the convex mirror that is outward curved reflecting surface getting so next is about laws of reflection laws of reflection here we can see two laws we have to state two laws first law is angle i always equal to the angle r angle i is always equal to the angle r or angle of incidence angle of incidence is always equal to the angle of reflection okay now i am drawing and showing you this is our reflector reflector a surface which reflects the light is known as reflector on this reflector falling a light ray is falling after touching the surface it returns back or it bounces back it returns back or bounces back then we are constructing a normal at the point of incidence we getting two angles First, what is the first law, children? What is the first law? Angle I is equal to the angle R. See, angle I is equal to angle R. That means, for, by this first law giving, the measurement of these two angles will be equal. If we getting angle I is thirty degree, then surely we can say angle R will be thirty degree. എന്താണ് പറഞ്ഞത് ആംഗിൾ ഐ തേർട്ടി ഡിഗ്രി ആണെങ്കിൽ എന്തായിരിക്കും ഫസ്റ്റ് റൂൾ പ്രകാരം ഫസ്റ്റ് ലോ പ്രകാരം എന്തായിരിക്കും ആംഗിൾ ആർ ഓൾസോ തേർട്ടി ഡിഗ്രി ഓക്കെ നാ സെക്കൻഡ് ലോ ഏഴ് സെക്കൻഡ് ലോ ഏഴ് ഇൻസിഡന്റ് റേ ദിസ് ഇസ് ഇൻസിഡന്റ് റേ ഇൻസിഡന്റ് റേ എ റേ വിച്ച് സ്ട്രൈക്ക് ദ സർഫസ് എ റേ വിച്ച് സ്ട്രൈക്ക് ദ സർഫസ് ഇസ് ഇൻസിഡന്റ് റേ വാട്ട് ഇസ് ഇൻസിഡന്റ് റേ Do you know the uh, definitions of incident ray, reflected ray? Remembering from seventh already study. Once again, I am giving. What is incident ray? Incident ray means a ray which strikes the surface. A ray which strikes the surface is incident ray. Then reflected ray, a ray which reflects or which returns back after striking the surface. A ray which returns back after striking the surface is reflected ray then what is angle of incidence angle of incidence the angle between incident ray and normal is known as angle of incidence and what is angle of reflection the angle between reflected ray and normal is known as angle of reflection so now we are going to that is second law that is incident ray second law i am stating the second law listen incident ray reflected ray and normal at the point of incidence once again incident ray reflected ray and normal at the point of incidence are lies in the same plane okay 
I think it is clear, children. Angle I first law is angle I is always equal to the angle R. Second law, incident ray, reflected ray, and normal at the point of incidence R lies in the same plane. Okay, now I am explaining about next point is lateral inversion. Lateral inversion. This is read it as lateral inversion. What is lateral inversion, children? What is the definition for lateral inversion? The exchange of right and left side of an object and its image is known as lateral inversion. Again, the exchange of right and left side of an object and its image is known as lateral inversion. See, for example, I am showing you here letter P. It has right and left sides. You can see it has right and left sides. In the mirror, we can see like this. This is the lateral inversion. This is lateral inversion. In this mirror, in the mirror we can see the letter P this way. Lateral inversion. Laterally inverted way. The object we can see in mirror. Laterally inverted way. So, next is about types of reflection. Next is types of reflection. Reflections are classified into two types. Regular reflection, regular reflection and irregular reflection. First of all, what is regular reflection? What is the definition for regular reflection? Re regular reflection means if a parallel beam of light falls on, if a parallel beam of light falls on a smooth and highly polished surface, it reflects back. We know that it reflects back. The reflected beam also parallel. The reflected beam also parallel and it moves. The reflected beam moves in a fixed direction uh, here. Such type of reflection is known as regular reflection. Here, example for regular reflection is search light and automobile headlights are the examples of regular reflection of light. See children, search light and automobile headlights are the examples of regular reflection now I am showing you how it is happening. Once again I am saying this one is reflector, a surface which reflects the light. On this surface, on this reflector, a beam of parallel beam of light falls. Par parallel beam of light falls on this smooth and highly polished surface. This surface is smooth and highly polished surface from after striking this surface it returns back reflects back and this also in parallel the reflecting beam also reflected beam also parallel and it moves in a fixed direction such reflections are known as regular reflection now i am explaining about irregular reflection and what is irregular reflection what is mean by irregular reflection here if a parallel beam of light falls on a rough surface if a parallel beam of light falls on a rough surface that means not polished surface after reflection or reflected beam or reflected light is not parallel. Here we are getting the reflected light not parallel. And the reflected lights are spread out or diverges in different directions. 
or spread out. Such reflections are known as irregular reflection. Okay. See, a parallel beam of light falls on the uh, rough surface, on the rough surface. After touching the surface, it reflects in different directions. Such reflections are known as irregular reflection. Some examples of irregular reflections are light reflected from the wooden table, newspaper, etc. Children, light reflected from wooden table or newspaper. That is, newspaper like or wooden table like or light fall chayidhu enyala. Abadunna, abadha rough surface ayadhu kundar. Wooden table or newspapers are rough surface. They are giving rough surface. So, the reflected light is or the type of reflection there is irregular reflection. Children, now I am finishing in this video. Subscribe, like, share and comment this video. Okay.